Today we have a special community interview series uh, with my friend Stephanie Kirkland, who is the owner of Humanity Studios um, in Huntsville, Alabama, and who is also doing our program uh, with us next Tuesday for Paint Your, ba Paint Your Own Baby Yoda um, for Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. How are you doing, Stephanie? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So for all of our viewers, um, who who don't know my relationship to Stephanie, we went to art school together and, um, you know, became friends then. Um, and you invited me to do a chalk contest with you at the mm -hmm. uh, Montgomery Museum. I had a lot of fun. Stephanie is very talented. I'm just going to toot her horn right now. Aww. She, she is just so compassionate and warm and sweet and just very talented. And I'm so proud of you for um, getting Humanity Studios off the ground. Thank you. Yeah, and so I was hoping we could talk about that a little bit. Um, okay. So, um, when did when did you establish Humanity Studios? When did you open it, and um, how long had you thought about uh, opening your business, and how did it come about? Okay. Well, I opened my studio last March, and it was a thing that I had been thinking about for probably about three years or so, um, because of course, I've always done art in some capacity, whether it was painting or chalk or sculpting. I always had my hands on something because I just like to make. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but I had been hosting um, paint events for about three years and I was just doing them as pop-up events at restaurants and nightclubs or homes or wherever anybody would have me. And it had gotten to where the business was you know, pretty consistent. And so I was like, okay, I got to start thinking this through. I got to think it further. And so I decided that humanity needed a home. And so I stepped out on faith and decided to open my studio last March. And it has been amazing. It's been yes. so much fun. It's so successful too. Like I follow, I follow um, Humanity Studios as well as you on social media. And I've just been so proud to see like at such a difficult time, you know, how, uh, humanity has just flourished and how much joy it's brought people during, you know, the last, you know, really terrible year that everybody's yeah. had. <laughs> um, and I wanted to ask you, like, what, what is the importance of um, creating an art and community um, to your own self-care? Um, for me, it allows a release, you know, so that I'm able to kind of take my mind off of things for a while. Um, but most importantly, as far as community goes, I love being able to get people in the studio just to bring a bit of happiness. Because it's that moment, like, when you come in my studio, I always give you a, one major rule. And that one major rule is don't take yourself serious. This is just art. We're going to have some fun. I start every party off with that. Because I need people to understand that you don't have to be in here, you know, making a masterpiece. We're going to make something. You're going to be proud to take it home in the end. You might surprise yourself. I've had some people that come in like, oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. And ta-da, <laughs> here you are. You get to take this home. You know, but to be able to uh, bring people in of all ages to just come in and relax for a little while, take your mind off of things. And even with the parties that I do for um, like the younger ages to bring them in because it develops critical thinking, you know, and even with the older groups that I've done, like I've done some um, events for seniors and it gives them, it gives them that critical thinking and the mobility to be able to do something different, you know, so that within itself just kind of warms my heart, but to, <laughs> to be able to bring that to other people, I just think is a whole bunch of fun, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And just and just knowing you and my time, you know, when we lived in Montgomery, just like what a warm and sweet person you are. And oh, thank you. you know, <laughs> no, you really are. And you're just like so like you just you just make me feel warm. And I feel like anybody who's near you feels that warmth from you. And so I am positive, even though I haven't had a chance to be at your studio, that that is a big um, component to your success and what you bring to your business. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. And I was going to ask you um, during COVID, because you kind of opened this during COVID, what are the things that you've learned in this, con you know, especially earlier on when things were locked down, like what kinds of things and challenges did you face? And, um, you know, did it change any of your planning? Um, 
I guess, from what you had envisioned? Um, COVID definitely changed all the plans. <laughs> <laughs> I opened the studio a week before COVID. Who knew Ooh. what was, you know, what was about <laughs> to happen? But thank goodness, we're still here. We're still flourishing. We're still having a good time. Um, but, you know, that happened and I just kind of sat back and was like, okay, what do you do now? And one of my mentors, what she always says is you pivot, you develop a plan and you pivot. And so that's what I did. So instead of inviting people into the studio, people were home, people needed things to do. So I focused on take home art kits. And so I was providing those. So if you and your kids, you and whomever, you need something to do, we've got something for you to do. And then that also helped to fill the gap with the younger kids that aren't getting that art development that they would have been getting at school. Um, so I was able to do that. And then we went to doing some virtual parties and that's always fun, you know, because we needed that socialization. <laughs> we needed that contact with everybody else. And, you know, since things have opened up now, we're still very cautious in the studio. Um, you know, making sure that everybody's well before they come in and that sort of thing. But once you get here, I'm just focused on making sure that we're having a really good time. And being able to take that aspect of fun and be able to apply it to other things. Like we've done some fundraisers here with some local, local social organizations and, you know, that sort of thing. So being able to give back into the community is always a big deal. What kind of projects do you have coming up? Like, do you, like uh, I see that you have a lot of different uh, cool themes to your painting parties and yes. uh was hoping you could without any spoilers for any of you know <laughs> your clients but like how do you come up with these ideas and uh, what what can you give us like a little theme layout of the next couple months so i normally just kind of go with what is what's seasonal or what's trending that's what i normally will go with and so like for my next one because my patrons always come in, you know, my studio is very, very relaxed. I want you to come in and have a good time. And so my patrons come in, we sing, we dance. And so like my next one is going to be um, kind of a paint slash karaoke event. So it's going to be Ooh. a paint and, and it's I'm calling it the pass the mic edition. So <laughs> we'll be able to <laughs> paint our paintings. You'll pass the mic on. If you want to stand up and sing, then so be it. But we're going to have a good time doing it. So that's my next one. And then coming into summer, we've got, well, we just did like the uh, summer beach party a couple of weeks back. So of course I've got to have a luau before it's all said and done. Yes. <laughs> and then um, we've got Mother's Day uh, brunch that's also coming up. So I'm doing that next weekend. So it's like a mommy and me painting. So let's just try to fun. keep everybody on their toes doing something. So is it, um, do you have classes during the week and the weekend or, um, or during the day? Like when, when is typically your, your painting classes? Normally it's just on the weekends because people have more flexibility, mm -hmm. you know, um, every now and again, I'll pop a class in on like a Tuesday or a Thursday night, especially if we've got something going on, like May the 4th, <laughs> you know, we've, we've got to, we've got to acknowledge that. <laughs> so we have to pop it in. So every now and again, I'll do something on the weekdays. Well, that's cool because um, that means I get to come. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I get to take a drive one weekend because I really want to come and, and hang out. That sounds like so much fun. You know, and talking about happiness and um, bringing art to the community. Um, what are the things, other things uh, that make you happy and bring you joy? And how have you um, carved out time for those things in the past year? Um, well, the beach is my happy place. Yes. And so, <laughs> and so I am one of those people that will literally get up in the morning and just go to the beach and figure it out. Like, okay, I'm going to book a condo on my way down. Um, <laughs> that is my happy, my happy place. So I go there to release, to plan, to get things together. So if I am, if I'm not at the beach, I'm at home in my garden. If I'm not at home in my garden, then I'm here in the studio making something. So that's like my three things that I'm always doing. Well, you're just living a fabulous life. Oh, thank you. <laughs> if you started a blog, uh, like a, you know, li live a fabulous self-care life, I would follow it. <laughs> like the Bible. I might, have, 
I have to look into that. <laughs> um, are there any um, books or movies or um, artists, because we are both creatives, that have made um, a significant impact on your life and your life's work? And um, in that same vein, like, is there anything cool you're reading or watching right now? Um, I just finished watching um, the Genius series um, on Picasso. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, um, yes, yes. That was very interesting <laughs> to me because, of course, we've learned all that we can learn, but to, to see it put into film and see his craziness that we knew was there, but to see it in like, in like a different aspect and how that actually helped to develop his work and the things that were going on around him and how it developed his work was really interesting for me because Picasso and Van Gogh were my two favorites. Mm -hmm. And so um, the Picasso Genius Series was just really amazing. And then, you know, fate put it together that the Picasso exhibit is running in Nashville. So it's like I was able to go and check out that work in conjunction oh, with seeing the series. In the series, it was just really, really good. You know, one of the reasons, uh, other than because I absolutely love you, um, other than other than that, um, wanted to ask you, like, if you had any advice for any viewer that might be watching who also might want to pursue their dreams because I know that you were um, you know we went to art school together and you were working in retail and mm -hmm. was like you know you were doing really well in that like you were managing um, a location and everything and then I just mm -hmm. remember like you took on your dream and then you just like you flourished probably in the hardest time ever right you know which is during COVID which is like such a beautiful story um is there any advice that you could give any viewer that is possibly watching and um is thinking about pursuing their dreams stay focused and be bold be brave that's the biggest thing <laughs> because I know for me I had all these ideas and what ifs and maybes will like kind of jump in there and slow you down sometime, but just be bold and be brave, make a plan and just step out on faith and do it. And Absolutely. it took me a while to get to that point, but it is the best thing that I think I've ever done for myself. And I'm so proud of you. Like, <laughs> honestly, like I couldn't think of a better person to, to wish success for. I mean, Thank you. I love a lot of people in this world, but you're, you're just so pure <laughs> and just so like, I've always just been so positive and I'm just so glad that you've been so successful and that you've decided to do this awesome project with me on. Yes, Tuesday. it's going to be so much fun. So yeah, it will be fun. So, um, are there any last words that you would like to give our viewers? Um, of like so they would just go to your website to sign up for classes mm -hmm. they can always go to humanitystudios.com and it's h-u-e-m-a-n-i-t-y because of course you've got to get the color in there yeah you know it's got to be a little artsy <laughs> uh, but humanitystudios.com uh, to check out any classes that are coming up or to book your own private party and then of course you've got to tune in to do the baby yoda project on tuesday Yes. Well, thank you so much, Stephanie. I love you so much. And hopefully I will, I will be up soon to come yes. uh, take one of your classes. And for our viewers who don't know, she also makes amazing cheesecake. So she's an absolute <laughs> angel in, in every regard. All right. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good day. Thank you. All right. See you later. Bye.